Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great today. Today in this video, we're gonna look at three possible fake Fender Stratocaster guitars. Uh, last week I made a video on taking a look at a fake guitar and just showing all the little details that, that lead, led me to believe that it was fake. It was pretty fun, so I thought I'd do this again. Uh, a few years ago I made a video called How to Spot a Fake Fender in Seconds, and since then, Lots of people have sent me pictures and said, hey, is this guitar fake? I'm confused and, and I've helped them out. So I thought I would just kind of do this as a maybe a mini series of videos here. Uh, so if you have any fake guitars or guitars you're suspecting are fake, uh, send me pictures to my uh, Facebook page at facebook.com slash Kenneth Russell. I'll take a look at them and maybe I'll make a video out of them. But I've got three different ones here and this is gonna be an interesting uh, video because th out of the three guitars, um, only one of them is fake, but there's other things that might make you think possibly they were fake uh, if you didn't know what to look for on the other two guitars. And we'll take a look at them uh, individually. But before we do that, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and uh, let's dive into this. So this is the first one that we got here. Uh, this was uh, this is a while back. This was last year. But uh, this guy basically says, hey, I've got this... Um, saw your video on how to spot a fake fender and I've got this 50th anniversary and basically what what had me kind of freaked out was in your video you said that uh, if it has two string trees to watch out because it might be a fake now here's the thing the re and I probably should have clarified this more in that video but the reason why I said two string trees is it could possibly be a fake is uh, the majority of fender guitars like Stratocasters um, would have one string tree of the American Fender made guitars. And the, but there was a few years where they put two string trees on there. But the reason why it's kind of a red flag is because if you're just taking a Squire guitar, rubbing off the logo, putting a Fender logo on it, it's going to have two string trees, or at least it's gonna have a hole on the string tree if you don't repair that. So if you took, just took one of the string trees off. So basically it's kind of like a red flag to say, it's one red flag in the midst of other things you need to look for. It's not not just if it has two string trees, it's a fake. That's not what he's saying. It's not what I'm saying. So uh, anyway, this is the guitar here, and he's got uh, some pictures of the headstock. And uh, let me just kind of uh, go through some of these pictures um, here real quick. So this is the, the overall guitar there. Uh, there's the, the serial number, the back of the headstock. Everything looks legit. And, and then here we go, there's the two string trees. Now, a couple things to note here. Um, I would say that it's it's obvious to me that this is a real Fender, uh, a couple things. The logo just looks nice. This spaghetti logo right here. Um, the two string trees are these upgraded, I forget what those are called, the, these kind of uh, string trees, but they're not like the bent ones. Um, and then also it's got a walnut truss rod uh, hole right here. So if it's got a walnut truss rod hole, I have yet to see a fake uh, guitar. I may be wrong, I'm sure there's some out there, but I've yet to see a fake guitar that has a walnut surround here on the on the truss rod cover. So um, yeah, real quick, uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one, but yeah, this one was a, uh, this was a, a legitimate uh, Fender guitar, no problems whatsoever there. All right, moving on to the next one, number two. Uh, this was sent to me and uh, he's saying, hey, I saw this in the store and there's not that great pictures here, but he says, I saw this in the store and, um, you know, is this fake? And that's what, he, what he's wanting to know. And I mean, right off the bat, I was like, yeah, this is this is not a real Fender guitar. So we kind of have this conversation. And the first thing I said is, I don't know if you can notice here. Let me, let me pull it up in the other the other pictures here. But uh he, it says in here $5,500 and I was like, so my response was, uh, I think that this guitar is about $5,400 overpriced. Uh, I, I wouldn't pay more than about a hundred bucks for this. Um, anyway, he responded back and actually said that's Filipino uh, pesos and not dollars, which ends up being about a hundred and eight dollars at the time is what it was. So um, anyway, the, this is the guitar, the things right off the bat like I was saying about the string trees um, just I can just look at this headstock in, in an instant and tell you that it's not an American-made Fender guitar uh, because it has no surround here on the walnut 
or no has no no surround period not even a plastic one but no surround on the truss rod cover uh, much less a walnut one it's got the two string trees these bent string trees that the squires usually come with um, and even though there's only two pictures in this I can just kind of tell that, that that this is not not exactly right you know uh, the, the logo looks it looks okay um, I mean the picture is not very good picture so it's kind of hard to tell you know but that just kind of goes to show you that you don't even have to have the best pictures in order to, to figure this out. You don't even really see the neck at all. But these uh, these saddles are these are the Squire saddles. These block saddles that that Squires come with. Um, it's a uh, it's a again this isn't something that would disqualify a, a guitar, but it's a six screw uh, guitar. So if it was in a certain year, if there was a serial number on here, you could be able to say. Hey, I know for sure that the, the serial number that you could look it up and find out if they had a two point tremolo or uh, the six screw tremolo on that year of guitar. But anyway, even with just these two pictures, even with with just these two, I'm I'm able to tell you that this is not a real uh, genuine uh, Fender guitar. And I can tell, too, that, you know, it's probably my guess is it's some sort of pawn shop. Looks like there's a, a xylophone next to it. Uh, behind the case and also uh, when you do the math on this the, the $108 that's not the worst deal in the world and later on in, in his in his post he said you know I've always wanted the Fender guitar but you know I can't find one for the price and um, I said you know go ahead and if you wanted to buy it buy it but uh, I would talk him even down from $108 um, I understand different countries you know, like one hundred and eight dollars is is actually overpriced here in the United States uh, for a squire guitar, um, a used squire guitar. But uh, you know, I, I understand that that in some countries it's harder to come by instruments. The instruments are a lot easier to come by here. Um, you know, you go into any pawn shop and I could pick this up uh, you know for seventy five eighty bucks no problem whatsoever so anyway that's uh that is that one and then the third one that i wanted to look at here um is and th this is an interesting one um this guy that says that hey man i, I wanted to ask your opinion and F to see if i bought this fake guitar and um so he was just showing me some of the pictures here and this is not an american fender but this is a japanese fender and let me go ahead and pull up the pictures on this. So just going through the pictures here, um, some of them are good. Some of them don't really tell you much. Uh, but here's this. Uh, right off the bat, I can see that the, the spacing, this isn't a great picture for this, but I can see the spacing on these dots right here on the 12th fret. On the on uh, Fender guitars, they're a little bit closer together than they are on Squire guitars. It's got this, one of his concerns was this three bolt uh, plate in the back. Um, and then he also was concerned about this, this truss rod, um, you know, the, the kind that sticks out here. This, like, I think it's called the bullet truss rod, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and also the, the saddles here, he thought, well, it's got two saddles. And, um, and then the, uh, the, the, in, or the saddles, what am I saying? Uh, two string trees, sorry. Uh, these saddles here, um, they don't look like Squire saddles. They don't look like the, the bent saddles or the block saddles that, that Fender, the kind of the upgraded ones that they have recently been doing. Um, but, and then he's got the uh, serial number here down on the back of the heel, right next to the heel of the, uh, of the neck. And then there's the, there's the back. Um, and you can see here, it does have, I'm not even sure what, um, I'm not even exactly sure what tuners those are. There might be upgraded tuners on there. Unless I'm reading, I can't, I don't know. Right now I can't place where those, what brand tuners those are. But, um, so there's another, this is a better shot of the, of the, these two inlay dots right here being closer together. If I were to compare that with a, a Squire, you'd be able to, to easily see that. Um, this is a, in my opinion, this is a real Japanese guitar, though I'm not super familiar with the, the Japanese guitars as I am the Americans, I would have no problem buying this. And these are my reasons why. Um, uh, first off, this, this 
bullet truss rod right here. I've never seen a fake do this. Um, th they would be going out of their way to to make a uh, this kind of truss rod right here um, when it's just so much easier to do the everything that all the imports are doing. So that that right off the bat says like also because it does raise a red flag like why would you fake something that kind of makes somebody go I've never seen a truss rod like that like a lot of people have never seen a truss rod uh, stick out like this but that's how uh, Fender had done it in years past the this this logo looks great you can tell that it's all nice and sharp um, everything is, is sharp on here there's you, you can uh, even though this isn't you know a super high def picture you can see that it does have like this gold surround so even if it's not just a not just a black logo that somebody printed off on a printer and stuck it on here but it has some uh, some things that you know Fender does also one thing that I noticed too is the trademark sometimes like like this is a you know this is a blurry picture when you get really up close but even when it's zoomed out I can definitely read that R and sometimes I've noticed on the fake ones when people print out a, uh, a logo print out this water slide or the the uh, on the headstock that the trademark or, or the register doesn't look quite right like they've they've it just doesn't look quite right and this one looks looks good like it, it, it sometimes they'll be a little blurry um, but uh, from my experience the fender logos are nice and sharp like when you look at them up close you're you, you're you're able to really see what's going on it does have the two string trees um, and again I think this is goes back to just what year this was made again just because it's got two string trees doesn't mean it's a fake um, though the first thing I do in my mind usually what the first thing I look at is uh, the string trees and the uh, the surround on the truss rod hole um, the uh, again the saddles uh, nothing to worry about there there was one more thing I was gonna mention uh, with the oh it was the neck plate on the the neck plate here yeah, there were some years that that Fender in general did a, a neck plate here. Um, generally speaking, also with guitars, the the fake guitar world, you know, it, it's like you kind of have to put yourself in the mindset of somebody that's faking a guitar or taking a guitar that is not genuine, you know, USA made. Uh, Fender Stratocaster and they're trying to fake that in order to sell it or whatever the case is is like generally speaking you fake like the higher end something you don't fake the medium okay so it's like if I had a you know a Rolex, Rolex watch you know let's say there's a Rolex that costs ten thousand dollars and a Rolex that costs a hundred thousand dollars I have no idea how much a Rolex cost but um, you know if I was to to fake one I'm probably going to fake the more expensive one. I'm probably not going to fake the medium one. So that that's just kind of my thoughts with this is like, you know, the the Japanese uh, Fender guitars are, are actually very very nice guitars, but they don't get as much money and they don't generally call for as much money as an American made. So why would you fake the Japanese? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, and then in order to do that. Again, you're you would be, you know, like this. This has I think I don't know if it says made in Japan, but I can see Japan right here on this. Um, and because this is the three hole, you would have to go through a lot of trouble in order to to fake like all the details on this guitar when it doesn't when it's not even um, when it'd be much easier to go through those details and fake for the American that you would be getting more money from. So I did go over to Guitar Data Project and I typed in this serial number here. Uh, where did I get that? Give me one second here, y'all. And um, yeah, so I did type this in Guitar Data Project and uh, this is such a great resource. I'm gonna click on Made in Japan and this was the serial number and it did come up um, the uh, from the Fujigen plant in Japan 1993 1994 and then one thing that you can do after you do this is you go over to reverb I'll just go to reverb.com and you can search this 
Um, so like, I'm gonna just type in like Jap Jap Japan Stratocaster. And you can try to compare this to this. Now, I did not have a good good luck in this. Um, probably actually should put Fender on here. I, I looked at this a minute ago, and I didn't find a guitar that exactly matched this um, this this same thing. So, you know, like I went through to try to find one, um, but I, I just couldn't quite <clears throat> couldn't quite get there. Let me let me click on this one and see what it what it does. Um, yeah, it's not, this isn't the, the same guitar. It's got a different, different look, even though it's saying it's around the same year. Um, so sometimes this is great to be able to, uh, reverb, to be able to find, you know, like uh, what I do is I, I like to find a similar guitar that, that I would suspect it is real. And then I can kind of compare the details with it. Wasn't able to really find that here. Wasn't able to find a, you know, an early nineties, uh, Japanese Fender Stratocaster um, that that have similar similar details. They're just a little bit different. So uh, that being said, just because you can't find the exact thing, you don't have to have that. I think that the the three things that I look at is is in in determining if a guitar is fake is number one, all those the details like the the logo, the truss rod cut uh, surround the string trees, the saddles, the bridge, um, the, the dots on the inlays, all of those, those details, the tuners, it's basically like this grouping of, you know, you might have 10 details you're looking at and any one or two of those could be different. You know, like you, there, you know, there may be a guitar out there, the American made Fender Stratocaster that doesn't have a walnut surround on the truss roll truss rod hole that doesn't necessarily mean it's not real uh, I I don't think I've ever seen one that didn't have a walnut surround but there might be one out there but when you compare that with all the other things like that's one red flag but you might have you know that that one thing doesn't determine it but when you go yeah but the tuners weren't quite right and this wasn't quite right and the logo had like a something different to it and it said made in the USA two times on the guitar and this just isn't quite right those are the times when you think you go eh, i don't know so you, there's the details and then going to the guitar data project is is super important uh because it, it at least gives you an idea um there has been times i've put in logos or put in uh, serial numbers and it just came up as like this guitar doesn't exist um people that are faking them Generally speaking, um, probably try to find a serial number that is legit, and then they, they punch it in, and then you know make sure that it's coming up on on this, uh, or they're copying another a legitimate guitar, and so it will come up. But then you'll be able to verify the year that it is, and then go to Reverb and see if you can find that. So even though I wasn't able to go to Reverb and find uh, pictures with this, I would say that those are. That is a legitimate, uh, legitimate guitar there. So uh, there you have it. There's my, there's uh, these guys right here. This one was the fake, really easily spotted with the surround of the truss rod, the string trees up there, the saddles, um, the price. You know, no one's gonna be selling an, an American made guitar for $108 uh, US. That doesn't make, that doesn't make sense. So sometimes you just kind of have to go, where's the logic in this? Um, the, you know, this one is the Japanese guitar. It just seems like, even though there's a lot of things different about it, um, it, it seems to all line up. Uh, I can't imagine somebody going through the effort to fake this guitar to make it, make it a fake. Um, and then this guy here, yeah, just because it's got two string trees doesn't mean it's, it's, uh, it's fake. Matter of fact, th this is a beautiful looking guitar. I really like that color. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video and comment down below and see uh, if you were able to spot which one was fake and which one was real right off the bat. Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.